Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars, but with a twist. A blast from the past with Walk Back Wednesday. Let's do it. Our first post today is by Pentonix398. My boyfriend literally just got me some chocolate and a card for Valentine's. Like, when I say I want chocolates, what I really want is a ring or a necklace. Just because they say I want something doesn't mean I want it. <laughs> well, communication goes a long way, and if you say you want something but don't really want it, who else knows better other than you? This next one is by SC077. Anyone giving away cheap AirPods Gen 2 with charger and original casing unsealed under $10, preferably free? Or if not, can anyone give me free Disney Plus account? Both are for my daughter's 12th birthday, and I promised them, and if she doesn't get them, she will cry. Thanks. It's been a while since we've had one of those parents promising something for their kids not knowing if they can actually follow through on that promise then trying to guilt trip somebody into them completing their promise for them. This next one is by Chemicals. For free, extendable dining table and 8 chairs. Only 6 shown. Pick up from Yara Glenn, and no, I won't deliver it for you because I'm already doing you a favor by giving it to you for free. I won't hold it for you for three weeks because Uncle Barry's ute is in for repairs and you have no way of getting it home. It's heavy, so don't ask me to get my neighbors to load it for you. I'm happy to help you load it. Don't ask me for straps or rope to tie it, knowing you will need to do so before you leave home. If you say you're coming to get it, it's yours, and I'll wait a reasonable amount of time until you do. If you don't let me know, you can't pick it up and you will be added to the serial past registrar for wasting our time and taking it away from others. Yes, you're right. I'm over all the crap of giving things away on Facebook and for once would just like to have it all go smooth. The marks on top I think are heat marks. Remember, it's for free. Oh yeah, you know they've totally seen all the beggars coming in out of the woodwork. Can I get it for free? Can you deliver it? Can you help me load it? All the beggars and all their tricks. It doesn't work with this guy. This next one is by Gab Faye. Couch, free. Anyone has a couch they are not needing anymore, please end. I want it for my two big dogs for the shed as they have nothing to lay on and I'm looking for one for free. Thanks. And it has to be derived to me and I am at Everton Park. Free, I understand. Free and delivered, I think you want too much. Unfortunately to choosing beggars, free and delivered is usually part of the whole free thing and them not having to lift a finger to get anything. This next one is by Desi Dearest. To all you influencers out there, stop asking for free products from small businesses. If you want to be a true leader and influence your followers, Show them the value of actually supporting small businesses. I have given hundreds of free hats away to various charities, leaders, businesses, etc. that I support or whom I find value. I will not give you one because you think your 632 followers are the massive exposure I need to scale my company. The tricks these influencers try to use is absolutely ridiculous. I've said it once, I'll say it again because it's the same thing. It's consistency with them. They will not take exposure as a form of payment. So I don't know why they try to press it. This next one is by Sprout Jam. Attention, attention! My birthday is one month away. I love gifts, Leo. I have two tattoos that I would like to get from here. If you would like to do a gift certificate to there, that would be cool. Or if you just want to shoot me some cash, I have Cash App here, Venmo here, PayPal here, and Google Pay here. There's also Shiatsu head and neck massager on Amazon Prime that I really need. <laughs> 
I mean, I get it. With the birthday, people like to get gifts, they like to get money, etc. But going all out and needing to draw attention like this just shows how desperate you really are. This next one is by R. Zotin. Sun's pick. Can you make me one of those? Sorry, it's actually from a game that was discontinued two years ago, but I'm good at pixel art and can make it for you either way. Oh, you can make exactly like so look likes me? Exactly so it looks. Yeah. You're a girl, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just asking. No problem. Anyways, so you want to row to me? Sends photo for my dick pictures. <laughs> I am not going to open that. Okay, okay. You can open whenever you want, yo. Anyways, draw me. Don't ignore me. I'll pay you five dollars. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Please. Okay, slut, draw me in that style. Five dollars, take it or leave it, slut, or I will fuck you. What the fuck is wrong with you? First of all, I would normally charge $25 to $35 for that. Second, fuck off before I send a screenshot of this conversation and your dick all to the people you follow. <laughs> they will like my dick. Don't worry. Now draw me, slut, and I am not paying you anymore, bitch. Yeah? I'll draw you. <laughs> you opened my dick. You like it, babe? <laughs> Just kidding. Sense pick. Here's your stinky ass pee pee. Fuck off now. Blocking you and your nasty ugly dick. Bye. I feel like this was a choosing beggar mixed with an incel nice guy all in one, but without the saying they're a nice guy. I mean, honestly, when you go and attack somebody you're trying to get something from, do you really think it's going to work out well for you? This next one is by Young Edamame. Hey, how do I pay you? Don't even worry about it. Just post it and tag when she gets it. Get me some street cred. <laughs> what? No, I can't do that. Let me at least cover the cost of the material used. Nope. Well, I gotta repay you somehow. Yeah, post about it. <laughs> this is like what every choosing beggar dreams of. Being able to pay an exposure and actually be able to get an item for it. I guarantee you though, they would try to avoid doing the exposure bit. This next one is by Almost Mature. All prices have been pre-haggled for your shopping convenience. I could totally see like a choosing beggar Karen go up and ask who pre-haggled the prices and demand to haggle with who haggled for the prices. And our final post today is by Talorpia. I've been working at my uncle's food truck for a couple years now, and this is a pretty common occurrence which I just hate. My uncle gives veterans 50% off their food because my grandpa, his dad, was a Vietnam War veteran in the Marines. Before he passed, he would never get any benefits from businesses in New York, compared to down south where they treat veterans like gods. I never thought much of it. It's just something nice he likes to do for veterans. The thing is, my uncle isn't living in lavish. He's your average paycheck to paycheck American, and my dad and I always tell him that he should bring the discount down to 20% because he's losing money every time he gives a veteran 50% off. He never budges. So I'm taking this guy's order and he tells me he needs to pull up a note on his phone because he's picking up food for his whole family. He orders $120 worth of food, and I put in the order so my uncle can start making it. When I tell him how much it is, he tells me that he's a veteran and would like the 50% off discount. So then I ask him which sandwich was his so I could give him half price for it, and I could tell right away I was about to get yelled at. He started going off about how he fought for this country and we were false advertising when we said that veterans get 50% off their food, how he deserves a discount, etc, etc. We tried to tell him that the discount was a gesture to be kind to veterans, not to feed their families for free. Eventually, we just gave him $30 off, which was three times the price of the sandwich he got, and he left angry. 
I just think it's really upsetting that people take advantage of a discount that's meant to be a kind gesture when we're already not profiting from giving them 50% off. If it keeps happening, then the discount is gonna have to go down and it's gonna ruin it for everyone. It always bothers me when people are taking advantage of any kind of discount, whether it's a senior discount, a veteran discount, etc. I mean, you're getting a discount. You should be happy with that. I think the way that you guys were trying to give him 50% off his sandwich and not the whole meal was completely fair. It is their food, not their family's. I wish you guys luck in the future and hope you deal with a lot less entitled choosing beggars. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.